Don in London, hello. September the 26th, my video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. My addictive substance, alcohol, my behaviour, equally addictive towards people, places, things, trying to be right, trying to look right, trying to fit in, and never quite understanding who I was or what life was really about. So fear, putting on a brave face, ego often got in the way of me understanding what life is rather than what I thought it ought to be. So sober one day at a time. I share here uh, a daily reflection from this book from AA, Alcoholics Anonymous. I no, do not speak for AA, never can, never will. It's for unique, authentic people with one similarity, the desire not to drink on a daily basis. And they share their experience, str strength and hope where they will. So today's reflection, if you like, September 25th, it talks about our children. The alcoholic may find it hard to re-establish friendly relations with his children. In time, they will see that he is a new man, and in their own way, they will not they will let him know it. From that point on, progress will be rapid. Marvellous results often follow such a reunion. And although, although I have no children, I have family, and I do find that they understand me better, and actually I understand them better. And what a relief, because then I can look to the truth of what is, love and be loved back, and do something useful. It goes on to say, while on the road to recovery, I received a gift that could not be purchased. It was a card from my son in college saying, Dad, you can't imagine how glad I am that everything is okay. Happy birthday. I love you. My son had told me that he loved me before. It had been during the previous Christmas holidays when he had said to me, while crying, Dad, I love you. Can't you see what you're doing to yourself? I couldn't. Choked with emotion, I had cried, but this time, when I received my son's card, my tears were tears of joy, not desperation. And I guess for me, it's like we know that people may love us and hate our behaviour, and we learn that we have self-love inside us, although we can hate the behaviour we had in the past. So if we can come to an understanding of making a new start, and accepting and making restitution where we can and amends to those we have harmed then we can move along in a spiritual way which is living in the moment of now learning how to be the person we are knowing more about ourselves by the end of each day so who am I? the answer is I will know more by the end of today and when I'm troubled or I'm happy or I need balance the meditation or prayer to acceptance helps me always and it's to God all good conscience as you choose and come to understand God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference for me always is just for today